All right, so um, Kevin said he was still in touch with Whitney's brother, Michael. And him, even after like all it is, his lawsuit with the Houstons. Yes, after his loss, even with his lawsuits with the Houston, this dude was still talking to her brother. So Kevin said that um, they, you know, they were still hanging out and they will often get together for a night out in the town. And he will also bring his stepbrother, Gary, who had been in and out of a dozen rehab centers. But every time he saw them, they were still doing drugs. Mm. And Robin said in her book, Gary would disappear in and out, insinuating that he was at rehab. And to remind you, he was doing heroin since he was 12. You know, them Houston's, Sissy and John, they wouldn't know how to do it, deal with that, obviously. I mean, judging by how Whitney ended up slipping up, she wasn't the first slip up child that they had. It first all started with Gary and then it happened with Michael and then it got to Whitney. But anyways, Michael said he was staying at the hotel in Chicago one week and Michael had invited him over to smoke weed with him. And he told Kevin that his father had admittedly, had finally admitted that he had treated Kevin wrong and that he had to make it right by Kevin. As soon as everything blows over, Michael said that his dad said that he was going to give him a call and they was going to get his music career rolling. So this dude was still thinking about a music career in chapter 13. In chapter 13, this man was still thinking about a music career. He was still thinking about a music career. He still cared about having a damn music career. Where they do that at? So it doesn't stop there, y'all. Oh, and Kevin said, yeah, right. How many times have I heard that before? They must was trying to get him to drop that lawsuit, and that's what that was. And they tried to blackmail him into not saying anything about the Houstons. Michael responded back and said, probably as many times as I have. Kevin said he knew Michael wanted a senior career just as badly as he did. And he given up all false hopes and empty promises by John, just as he had. He had a good voice and often when they would get up together, they would sing old tunes, all the old tunes they grew up together. And he said basically Michael was hurt about not having a career and he knew he was hurt and bitter that his sister wouldn't help him out. My point exactly, Kevin. And two things, I don't... Okay, which one should I say first? I don't think it was Whitney Houston's job to help her brothers out with a career. They should have found that on their own. I mean, their mama was an inspiration. Their cousin, Dionne Warwick, was uh, Dionne Warwick. She was a singer. They had all this help around them, but they was waiting for Whitney to be the one to help them out. One thing that they didn't have that Whitney had was someone like Clive Davis, and that's how she was able to get out there and help and not just help herself that's how she was able to get out there to do what she needed to do because Clive was there to make sure things was good with her they should have went on her own and could have found someone else to work with similar to Clive Davis maybe L.A. Reid Michael should have went with L.A. Reid anything all I'm saying all these connections even Kevin you guys are around a superstar freaking Whitney Houston you guys have all these connections, right? Why y'all didn't try to reach out, make connections and try to do it yourself? Instead, y'all was getting high and getting mad at Whitney and trying to destroy her by getting high on the stage, missing performances, but then expect her to continue to pay you, which she did, and then expect her to help you with your career. It just doesn't work like that. It don't work like that. I'm sorry. It don't work like that at all. And they knew John was too busy stealing money from, from Whitney. To, he was making so much money with Whitney Houston. He wasn't thinking about them. He was too busy stealing money from his own daughter to even worry about that. And I think deep down he didn't believe in them to begin with. Obviously, I don't think he believed in his boys. He believed in Whitney the most. And I don't think he believed in Sissy the most. I think John loved Whitney Houston more than he, his daughter, more than he loved Sissy. But okay, I will continue, y'all. So Kevin said he had a good voice and, you know, everything. And he said they was just sitting, chilling, passing joints together. And he said he asked Michael how was Whitney Houston's wedding working out. And Michael had snored and said, huh? I had to knock Bobby on his ass the other day. He slapped Nippy. So I popped him one. Knocked his ass out cold. Wow. So I guess her, her, the men in her life was defending her. But Bobby still felt comfortable to slap her around whenever he felt like it. Even though Whitney was the one doing some slapping too. 